Hey everyone, so when I went to see Project Scorpio a little while ago, I was asked about stuff that I thought would be crucial to the coverage we'd produce. We talked about specs and deep dive access and whatnot, but the real question I had was pretty simple and actually critical to the story. Basically, can Project Scorpio really scale up Xbox One engines to run at native true 4K? I mean, that's the core promise behind the system. All I got back from the Microsoft representative was kind of like a nod and a smile. Now, it turns out that I spent most of an afternoon at Turn 10 Studios, creators of the Forza Motorsport franchise. And yes, I did see Forza Tech running on actual Scorpio hardware. So what is Forza Tech exactly? Well, it's a platform on which Turn 10 can talk about new features, like a DX12 support on PC, for example and they can show new features without specifically making product announcements. And that's kind of important because, I mean, Turn 10 hand in new Forza games as regular as clockwork pretty much every two years. You can set your watch by them, so while we can fully assume that the upcoming Forza 7 will hand in similar results on Scorpio later this year, well, the game hasn't even been announced yet. A Scorpio Specs reveal event isn't really the venue for doing that either. But this is Forza Motorsport 6 Apex running on PC at 4K at Ultra settings and the significance of that will become evident shortly. But Turn 10 has actually been involved in the Scorpio project for years, producing profiling data that was used to shape the Scorpio silicon. Studio software architect Chris Tector told me about how they helped to shape the Scorpio hardware and also to prove out the silicon when it came back. Now, remarkably, it took just two days to port over the Forza engine from Xbox One to Scorpio, and most of that was in updating the code base with the latest XDK the newest Xbox development environment, so to speak. Now, Chris told me that they were, and I quote, flawed that they got it to run so quickly. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you everything that I saw, specifically the engine stress test operating at a full 4K60, but we do have this single teaser screenshot. Native 4K, locked to 60 frames per second, Xbox One quality settings across the board, but with just one exception. 4K art assets loaded in. Now, Project Scorpio's 326 gigabytes per second of bandwidth, and it's more than enough to accommodate what the team set out to achieve. Chris told me that swapping between 1080p and Ultra HD assets has around a 1% hit to performance. Basically, margin of error then. But the astonishing aspect here is the GPU utilization at the top there. Scorpio is supposed to scale 900p and 1080p engines to native 4K. That's the promise. The Forza Tech port is doing that with just 66.19% GPU utilization. And this is a stress test, a full complement of cars that drive around the circuit kind of like a train. I think I've uh, mentioned previously that I noted a top utilization in the 70% area, but with fewer cars on screen, it could drop down to around 55%. Now here's the thing, that's how performant the game was directly after it was ported with no platform specific optimization. And the implications here are pretty remarkable. It suggests that Scorpio developers can get up and running very quickly, but more than that, it means that they're not pouring time and effort into the actual porting process. This time is better spent on refining quality instead. And in the case of Forza here, there are clear areas for improvement we can expect in a prospective Forza Motorsport 7. Yeah, so, I mean, previously we zoomed in on that area of the track in the distance there. I mean, remember, we're effectively running at Xbox One quality settings here, so texture filtering isn't the greatest. I mean, it will be improved on Scorpio, but the point is that there's a large amount of GPU overhead remaining. Now, how much? Well, I asked Chris Tector what the equivalent load would be on Xbox One, and he said 14 to 15 millisecond render time. Translated to GPU load, that's about 85 to 90%. Now, there is some overhead left over there for effects that aren't included in the demo, like GPU particles, for example. But the bottom line is this. Scorpio has much more left in the tank. In fact, Chris was able to dial in all of the PC Engine's ultra-level GPU settings. Something I saw in the live demo and GPU load rose to around 88%, with some spikes to full 100% utilization. Now, shadow resolution, shadow quality, they improve with the settings upgrade. Foliage density is also ramped up a touch. Not really a big deal for Forza Motorsport, but far more important for the open world Forza Horizon 3 engine. 
you get more subtle effects like light streaming through the car windows. Anti-aliasing is ramped up to the max. And the car models? Well, usually only the player car model gets the highest detail level. The ultra equivalent is what Chris describes as, and I quote, a disgusting use of GPU power. Now what's happening here is that every single car on the grid is using the same quality model as the player car. In fact, let's zoom in to this chap way at the front of the grid. Factoring the pixels occluded by the cars behind it, I estimate that around 1500 pixels out of 8.3 million are being used by that single vehicle. And it's getting the same level of processing as the player vehicle closest to the camera. It's insane and as Chris said, it's horrible, but we can do it and we still have the power left over. But the real point is that this demo is actually a few months old by now. Assuming a Q4 launch for the next full Forza title for Xbox, the team actually has the luxury of time for optimizing for the new platform, putting system resources to better use, as opposed to brute forcing PC Ultra settings with diminishing visual returns. And yeah, from everything I've ever heard from console developers working with new hardware, this is pretty much unprecedented and Microsoft is pretty adamant that what we're seeing here is not sort of atypical. I mean, other developers are seeing similar scalability too. But of course, a note of caution, this is just one game. What we are seeing here with Forza has to scale across to other engines made by other developers, many of which operate under constraints inherent to producing multi-platform titles. And what I will say is that it's really tough to draw too many conclusions from just this one single example of what Scorpio is capable of. And here's why. You see, Forza Tech isn't just wonderfully optimized on console. It's a DX12 engine that is exceptionally fast on the PC. So here's a replay running at 4K on three NVIDIA GPUs, GTX 1060, 1070, 1080. Ultra settings, 4x MSAA, sort of equivalent to the ultra blowout I saw on Scorpio. And it runs at 4K60 on all three of those GPUs, albeit with some performance drops that you will never see on any Turn 10 console release. However, there is a cumulative impact to performance when you factor in wet weather here. And that's the advantage Scorpio will have. Bespoke performance tooling, direct to the metal access, and the ability for the custom GPU hardware to punch well above its weight. Okay, so what about other games then? Now there's no confirmation from Microsoft about specific titles, and I think we'll need to wait for E3 for that, but we've noted in the past that Microsoft first party games are being built for 4K in that they have textures designed for Ultra HD displays. And this has been happening pretty much since Gears of War Ultimate Edition. And yes, that of course includes Forza Horizon 3. I'd be really surprised to see a 60 FPS version of this, but a 4K 30 game with all of the settings ramped up. Well, that's something that is achievable with GTX 1070 level hardware, and I do expect to see that rolling out for Scorpio based on what I've seen Forza Tech achieve. We're running the same content here on Xbox One S and PC, and as you can see, the wealth of upgrades beyond just the resolution is sensational. This kind of highlights what I want from Scorpio personally. Yes, I think the art style used by Turn 10 and Playground really sort of pops at true 4K. In fact, I can't recall a single Forza title that hasn't run at native resolution on its respective hardware platform. But what's clear from the comparisons is that the extra overhead Scorpio offers over a basic Xbox One port could make a big difference. And yeah, the crucial thing is it's not about just scaling up the pixel count. I mean, Scorpio does that, but it's about doing more, hopefully much more. But beyond that, I'm not sure I have much to add, but Microsoft and Turn 10 definitely do. So I'd highly recommend popping down to the video description below and clicking through to our articles on Eurogamer where you can find out much, much more. But hey, look, we've got more Scorpio stuff in the pipeline. So remember to like and subscribe so you don't miss a thing. We've still got some big Scorpio exclusive information to reveal, so look out for that. But for now, from me, thanks for watching.